My name is Mike. I do the Tractor Mike YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to talk about, and this is one of the most important decisions when you're picking out a sprayer. Do I want booms or do I want boomless? If you're new to sprayers, booms usually fold out and they put the chemical right down on the ground. They have these nozzles that sit close to the ground. Boomless is a, a nozzle that mounts back here and sprays in kind of a fan. There's advantages and disadvantages of both. Let's talk first about the boomless. With the nozzles today, uh, I've seen up to 30 feet that they can cover. The advantages of it, it's gonna cost you less to buy a sprayer with a boomless nozzle than with booms. You're not gonna ever break the boomless nozzle going through a fence, which booms tend to stick out, and, and you, you, most people that have had a boom sprayer have caught it on a fence post at one time or another. It's a good economical way to apply material when, when getting just the exact material in the exact place is not as critical. If you're doing a wildlife food plot, a boomless sprayer will work great. A another advantage when you're on really rough terrain, uh, having a boom can be a disadvantage because your boom is, is going up and down and, and changing your application. With boomless, that, that material just goes out. Another big advantage of boomless is there's fewer nozzles. And so when you have to clean a boom sprayer, you've got to go to each nozzle and, and clean it. With boomless, you, you may have one or maybe two nozzles, maybe three, uh, but, but a lot less maintenance on the boomless. If you have limited space, you know, it's, it's, it's really important to, to keep a sprayer inside. The boomless takes up less space if you're putting it in a garage. With, with a boomless sprayer, there's a little less operator fatigue because you just have usually a couple of nozzles that are putting out material and it's real easy to see if the material is going out. With a boom sprayer, you have all these nozzles across the boom. Some of them are in back of the sprayer, so it's sometimes it's difficult to know, are they all working the way they're supposed to? So boomless, you can look behind you and usually tell. Now we're gonna talk about the advantages of a boom sprayer. And the big advantage is, is accuracy and getting the chemical down exactly where you want it and, and being able to spray in a little bit more windy conditions than you would have been with a boomless nozzle. If, if you're a, a, a farmer and you're using a lot of spray, and spray's expensive, having a boom sprayer and getting that material right down to the ground in the shortest distance possible is, is a big advantage and, and that'll pay for the booms quickly. If you're going back and forth, it's a lot easier to tell where you've been with a boom sprayer than with a boomless sprayer. One thing about a, a boom sprayer I would recommend, if you can get one where the booms fold back, so if you hit something in the field that you didn't know was there, you, you don't break a boom off. Uh, some, some booms fold straight up. This, this particular design here, uh, they, they bend back and fold up, and, and you, want, you, you want that. When it comes time to choose the right spray delivery system for your application, I would start with um, what, what, am I, what am I doing? If, if I'm making my income off of the sprayer, I think I need to invest in booms for, for accuracy. If I'm hobby farming, if I'm just spraying fence rows, if I'm doing wildlife plots and things like that that's not really earning me an income, I'm gonna lean toward the boomless nozzles. Specific situations where we recommend boomless or if you're on uneven ground, like you have ditches or, or big holes, if it's bulldozed ground where there's, there's a lot of potholes, definitely go with boomless. If you're in an area with a lot of trees and you're trying to keep the undergrowth out, definitely boomless. If I'm going around fences or fence rows, definitely a boomless nozzle is better. One other thing we definitely want to look at is what's the height of the material we're trying to kill. If, if, it's, if it's waist high, uh, booms won't work at all. So, so in, in most of our wildlife food plot applications where we're trying to kill material that's pretty tall, boomless is the way to go. When we want to use a boom sprayer is farming applications, field applications where we have a nice level field. Uh, if, if it's a, definitely an agricultural operation where accuracy is important, uh, if, if there's a little bit of a breeze that is going to affect the drift, definitely a boom sprayer is the way to go. Now one thing we haven't talked about that I should mention, if you're going to the expense of buying a sprayer, on, on most sprayers you can get boomless and booms. That gives you everything. If, if you're spraying on rough terrain, 
uh, uh, and, and it's a calm day, use the boomless. If you're spraying on a flat ground and you want that chemical right where it needs to go, you can use the boom. So having both is a really nice feature. Hopefully this information will help you select a boom that will work for your application.